We are entering a new era of AI image generation as we've seen some huge updates over the past few weeks from OpenAI, which was actually today, Google, Grok, and others. And best of all, we can generate higher quality images now for free. And so in this video, I'm going to be explaining all of these updates and also comparing my results across these different platforms. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So first, let's talk about the latest AI image update coming from OpenAI today called 4.0 Image Generation. Now 4.0 deriving from their model GPT-4.0, and as far as I understand, this is not the same technology as DALI. As they say right here, that's why we built our most advanced AI image generator yet into GPT-4.0. And they also had a live demo explaining this new 4.0 image generator. I'll leave a link to this demo and I'll also leave a link to this article in the video description below. Honestly, this was a really good resource from OpenAI. They have all sorts of examples here for real world use cases. They have different prompts you can copy and paste and test on your own time and all sorts of other details you guys can explore on your own. The one thing I do want to know out of this article relates to access and availability. Who all has access to this new AI image model? Well, according to OpenAI, 4.0 image generation rolls out starting today to plus pro team and free users as the default image generator in chat GPT. This is a big deal that they're rolling this out already to free users. But the big question mark is usage. How many images do you get per day? Because if you remember with Dolly 3, free users got maybe three to five images per day, which isn't much in the scheme of things. And we've seen all sorts of advancements in Google's AI Studio. Grok is rolling out advanced AI images for free. So OpenAI knew that they had to compete somehow. So as a subscriber of ChatGPT+, Plus, I did finally get access to this 4.0 image generation model literally right before I hit the record button. And while this image is extremely high quality compared to what we used to get with Dolly 3, as all I asked it in this example was generate a photorealistic image of elephants in Thailand. Thailand's top of mind, going there for my honeymoon this fall, so I always just use this prompt as one of the first examples. I will admit, this took probably three, four, maybe five minutes for this image to generate. It was extremely slow compared to Google's AI Studio, Grok 3, those took seconds for this image to generate. So I would imagine OpenAI is still trying to roll out this 4.0 image generation model across millions of accounts. Now, if you look at the results here, so again, this is a high quality result. And if we look at this compared to Google's AI Studio with Gemini 2.0 Flash, another very high quality result here. Looking at Grok 3, I think this is still powered by Flux 1 behind the scenes, still very high quality. And when I look at a tool called Re, I think it's Reeve or Rev, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, heard about this a few days ago. I'm super impressed with this for a free AI image generator. And by the way, I'll leave links to all these tools in the video description below so you guys can test these out on your own time. But these are some very high quality results. I'll talk about Rev here in a little bit as I was just kind of playing around with it before this video. Um, but that's the first thing that I want to note is that while I do have access to the 4.0 image model inside chat GPT, plus there are some flaws i've noticed right away it's taking forever to generate images and i also went ahead and did another example or i tried to before recording this video and i noticed i ran out and i only generated about three images and i couldn't use the 4.0 model anymore as i tried to remake this diagram like OpenAI showed in their demo video and this is what i got as they're using dolly 3 in this example i said use the 4.0 model and not dolly came back with this so there are still a lot of kinks for them to work out. Now, one other example that did work for me using the new 4.0 image model was the ability to edit existing images. You'll see I uploaded a headshot here of myself, and I said, here's my headshot. Revise this image to be in the same setting, but I'm wearing a black bow tie and tuxedo. Make my face and body posture remain the same. And while I have to admit the actual tuxedo and the background of the image look flawless, obviously my face looks very distorted in this image. Compare that to what Google AI 
AI Studio came up with with Gemini 2.0 Flash, same image, same prompt and everything. This is the result that I got from Gemini 2.0 Flash. Compare that again to what I got with the new 4.0 image model. And again, we're still in the early stages. So the fact that this actually worked where the background's the same, the tuxedo looks good versus Dolly 3 would have completely destroyed this image. Slowly but surely, I'm seeing the strides in the 4.0 image generator. So again, when it comes to Google's AI Studio, it definitely provided a better result in this example of editing existing images. When I asked the same thing to Grok, it's a similar story with what we got with ChatGPT. The background looks good, the tuxedo looks good, but my face looks very distorted. Honestly, it reminds me of a uh, sloth from the Goonies just looking at this. I don't wanna look at it anymore. There's the other one, same issue there, but it's close. And Reeve, the problem with Reeve is you can't actually upload images. I tried it. It just, when I did it, it went ahead and generated these four images that weren't even me. So that's one flaw of this Reeve AI image generator. But regardless, Google AI Studio still takes the cake when it comes to editing existing images. Now, unfortunately, it looks like I ran out of usage already for the 4.0 image generation model, but what I'm going to show you can be applied across all image generation models. And this is a very important example as I've actually used this for a local client of mine to redesign his logo. And so what you can do is you can upload your logo, whether you're a small business, personal brand, whatever it is, you can upload a logo and prompt it with the following. I've uploaded my current company logo. Now generate an advanced prompt I can use for a higher quality logo. Don't create an image, I just need a prompt. And so what it's going to do is look at your existing logo and then create an advanced prompt like this. And then what you can do is copy and paste this prompt, open up another AI image generator like Google AI Studio, Grok 3, or Reeve, and you can see the results that I got here. This is Google AI Image Studio. Now, is this perfect? No, but that is not bad compared to what I got in the first time. And I tried Dolly 3, and while this isn't terrible, I wish I could use the 4.0 image model for this, and I'm gonna try this exact example later, um, but that's not terrible with Dolly 3. Pretty good here. I mean, the text here needs edited a little bit, but not bad for a first draft. If we look at the results from Grok 3, this was a little interesting. You could probably use this for an ad, but definitely not a logo. Uh, same with this. So I'm not impressed with this these results at all from Grok 3, but when it came to Reeve, I was super impressed with these results. Not only can you get four images at once, but look at these results here. So I'll see if I can double click. There's one. Uh, that is something you could start using right away. The text is not misspelled. It looks extremely professional. If I go back, we can look at some of the other ones here. Same here. The text is not misspelled. Extremely professional. Let's look at the other iteration. So you could bring this into Photoshop. You could bring this into Canva, make some other tweaks here and there. But regardless, super impressed with this new AI image generator called Re for a real world example, just like logo generation. And staying on this topic of Reeve or Rev, I'll be completely honest with you guys. This is one of the best free AI image generators that I've come across in a while. I would put this up there with Google's AI Studio with Gemini 2.0 Flash as arguably the best free AI image generator out there right now. I don't know if it's to the tier of Midjourney or Firefly, but if not, it's definitely close. And so with this tool, I know this is new because if I look at their X or Twitter account, First of all, they only have over 6,000 followers, a little over, and their first tweet was on March 24th. So that was literally yesterday. So I don't know if this tool came out yesterday. I heard about it yesterday or a few days ago on a forum somewhere, um, but now this is going to become very popular. I promise you as more videos like mine and others start coming out about this. So get into it early before their servers get overloaded. And to use it, I think all you need is an email or a Gmail to get signed up. And on the left-hand side, they have a create option. So if you wanna create an image, it's super simple. You see the text box down here, you can change the dimensions, we can get actually eight images and one output, but you can leave it on four, whatever you want. By default, they have an enhanced mode, so you can leave that on. And I would just leave this on auto. And then you can simply prompt whatever you want. It's a text to image generator. So if you do like a photorealistic image of aliens invading earth, all it's gonna do up top here is start generating your images. While it's doing that, they have an explore feature. So these are just, uh, so I'm almost out of credit. So I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. These are some of the images that people in this community are creating. I mean, look at this one. I'm just, look at this war image. I'm blown away by this one. This one with the mountain in the background, um, super realistic. I mean, some of these, 
the more images I'm seeing here on Reeves community, I just don't know how you can tell real from fake. I mean, this is getting better and better as time goes on. So if we go back to the create, uh, let's see what it came up with here. So not bad, right? But some of these are, are pretty unique. That's a cool image right there for sure. Uh, so this one of aliens, it looks like in like a city of new, looks like New York or something. I'm not really sure, but you guys get the gist. So let's talk about credits here. So if we come up here and click account, what you get is it looks like you get 20 daily free images, and then you also get free credits in addition to that. So 20 free images per day is actually pretty good in my opinion. And then you get additional free credits to start, but it looks like generating an image uses one credit by 500 credits for $5. So you can buy 500 images for $5. That's pretty good in my opinion. That, I mean, if this keeps up and gets better, what is the point of Midjourney, Adobe Firefly, paying extra to use ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator and all these other premium models, we're starting to see the free AI image generators like uh, Reeve or Grok3 or Google's AI Studio. They are becoming so good that what is the point of paying for these premium models anymore? And so I want you guys to let me know in the comments after you've tried this and ran your own prompts, let me know what you think and what you have to say about Reeve. So overall, we're definitely in a new era of AI image generation. We saw a huge update from OpenAI with the 4.0 image generator, Grok 3's making updates, Google's AI Studios producing high quality outputs for free, and now we have a tool like Reeve that's producing, I mean, incredible images, and you get a lot of usage on the free plan. Even the paid version, 500 images for $5 is still very reasonable. So slowly but surely, this is definitely cutting in to the mid journeys, the Adobe Fireflies of the world, and we're starting to phase out of this premium AI image generation model. But now I wanna know your guys' thoughts. What do you think of OpenAI's new update? What do you think of Google's AI Studio? What do you think of Reeve? What do you think in general of AI image generation right now? Really wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value in this information, be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel.